Tick pick. Is it legit? Let's find out. What's up guys? Welcome back. My name is Shraz here on Thumbs Up Run where we talk about buying tickets, selling tickets, and making sure that you have all the fun with your tickets. Today is another cold, frigid day here in the middle of winter up in Canada, and unfortunately it means we don't want to be going outside. However, however, does not mean we can't be taking a look and seeing if there is some event that we should be attending in the future. Specifically, we're gonna be looking at buying tickets on this website called Tick Pick. Tick Pick. I did not stutter. This website, and some of you may have heard of it, some of you may have not. However, what we're doing today, we're gonna to be doing a deep dive into the five things I've talked about which make a ticket resale website legit, real, something that is actually worth going ahead and spending your money on. If you haven't seen it yet, I have another video up in the playlist up here. You can go ahead and actually see what these five things are in detail. Regardless, we'll be diving into each of these things specifically with each different ticket resale website. Today, all about tick pick. Today we're gonna to find out if this company is actually somewhere where you should be putting your money into and actually buying tickets from because some of them may be yes, some of them may be no. Because at the end of the day, the question we have to ask is, is it legit? All right, so first off, the very first thing, the most important thing, if this does not exist, do not continue, do not pass go, do not collect $200. If there is no buyer guarantee, no fan guarantee, do not trust them whatsoever. Tick pick, they do have a buyer guarantee. They call it the tick pick guarantee. Basically what they're saying is that, hey, we know that things can go wrong sometimes, but we are telling you that when you buy tickets from us, you're gonna be covered, you're gonna be good, you're gonna be taken care of, nothing to worry about. Having the buyer guarantee, check mark. So number two, number two, what's number two? Number two is fees, talking all about fees. Now fees is a, you know, it's a delicate, delicate subject where people sometimes they feel like, oh, I don't want to pay any fees. They're so bad. They're so evil. Uh, and then other places it's like they have the fees and not just are they bad, but when they, how they display them to you is, is very, you know, sneaky. Tick pick is a bit different. Tick pick, like any other resale website, they do generate money through fees. However, However, when they display prices to you, they are showing you the all-in price. You don't see a fee for delivery charge, you don't see a fee for a service charge, you don't see a fee for just you know showing up to show, look at the event. They don't show you fees for nothing. They show you an all-in price. So when you go to the checkout screen, it says fees zero dollars. Again, doesn't mean that fees don't exist, they're just kind of, you know, built into the price that is being displayed. Doesn't mean that their price is always gonna be the cheapest compared to everybody else. So because TickPick shows it all in price, if you're trying to compare it, sometimes it may look a bit funny, but it doesn't mean that they're actually more or less expensive. You just have to do that quick comparison between the other resale websites. They even do have some promotional codes that come up every now and then, whether it's when you're a first time buyer or you're being referred in by somebody or just the general, you know, just feel like it. All in all, no fees is fantastic. So another thumbs up. Excellent. All right, next up, we got ourselves some user interface, user features, things that help you, the buyer, make your final decision on their platform. So what does TickPick do? They have a few things that they've got going for them. So obviously, number one, they got the interactive maps where they can go ahead, play around with that, figure out what sections you want to sit in. On top of that, they actually have another very unique feature for actually how they rate individual tickets. They use a grading system, you know, from A plus to all the way down to D minus or F. And you can sort by their version of what they consider to be best seats available. They'll go ahead and have that. They got the price sliders, they got the quantity sliders. What they don't have though, and this is very key, what they don't have is actually being able to sort by row. I find this, personally, I prefer to search by row. I know obviously there is a price feature and price sliding and being able to filter that way, but at the same time, I still like to be able to, you know, do a bit of my own research. I do like to rely on what's available, the different tools that exist, but at the same time, I like sometimes to say, I want a specific type of row. I can go ahead and filter through that. So they don't give me the option. I mean, they do give you the rating system, but again, the rating system is still based on what is available in comparison to those original tickets. So if there's only five tickets available completely for that event, they might show you something that has a very high rating, even though it might not actually seem like a very good rating because there's just so few inventory. They do have a ton of features there. So obviously they are working to help you find what you're looking for, but if you're looking for specific, specific rows, it can be a little bit more challenging. They also do have a bidding feature that is built in. I haven't actually seen this in action, unfortunately. I don't know which events or which teams are using this feature. Uh, but again, the idea is you know, like the price line model where you set the price you want and then someone will try and fill that order for you. If, if there's someone who is willing to you know, fill that order, they'll go ahead and do it. Otherwise, it doesn't get filled, simple as that. But I haven't actually used the bidding feature because I just haven't seen any value or any place for me to actually go ahead and try it out. 
Now, last thing, some of their events, you more on the sports side, they'll actually have views from your seat uh, built right into the actual platform itself. So you can go ahead, hover over it, see what seats are gonna look like. Uh, not all events are covered. Concerts generally do not have this feature active at all. Uh, sports is kind of where you're gonna see it more often. All in all, they have a good set of features, not top tier, not the worst, definitely, you know, above average. Uh, so obviously go ahead, use them, play around with them. They're good, they're not the best but they're pretty good. Definitely passable, definitely able to find what you're looking for. I give it another thumbs up. Now, number four, looking at the app itself. I'm not gonna do a deep dive into the app today, but they do have one. It is very, very similar to the website itself. Look and feel also very, very similar. The only additional feature that I do wanna mention about their app is that they actually have a price tracking feature, which I find quite helpful actually. So what you can do, just look at the event you're trying to track for. Maybe you're not ready to buy just yet, but maybe you wanna look at it in a few days. Go ahead, just click the tracking button. And what you can do is just go back to the app every couple of days, hit the refresh button there, and you can see how ticket prices have moved, the quantity has moved, the average prices have moved. It's an, it's interesting. It's definitely something that I haven't seen too often. So it, it helps you with actually going ahead, getting an idea anyway of whether what direction ticket prices are moving and how many tickets are left. So just having that feature, it's, it's nice. It's definitely a great way to get an idea of like, should they keep waiting or maybe it's something I should consider actually trying to spend my money and get those tickets as soon as possible. I'll give it a thumbs up. And lastly, number five, number five, purchasing in a local currency. So like most companies that we're gonna be looking at, unfortunately, a lot of them only sell in USD. For those in America, fantastic. You guys have lucked out. It's amazing. You'll always be able to buy in your local currency. But for us folk up here in the great white north, sometimes it's just nice to be able to pay in Canadian dollars. This is not something that is offered through TickPick. They give you a big disclaimer when you look at Canadian events, specifically stating that unfortunately, all sales are done in USD. Nothing can do about it, unfortunately. So having US dollars, whether it's through your PayPal or on your credit card, that's a US dollar credit card, obviously is helpful. But again, if you don't have that, you just gotta pay the conversion fees and such is life. I cannot give them the thumbs up here because it's just, it's, it's missing that last, you know, the, the, the extra little bit, it just doesn't have it. So unfortunately, can't give them a thumbs up on buying in local currency. So with all that, I think we've given ourselves four out of a possible five thumbs up. So I think that's, that's pretty good. I would say that is a four out of five, you know, as math would work out that way. I am an accountant, so you know, mathing is, is what I do best. All of that being said, what does it mean? It means that yes, I would go ahead and say that TickPick, you're legit. They're legit. They are definitely a place to go ahead and buy tickets from. I have bought tickets from them in the past. If you go ahead and click up here, I've actually made a video where I was on Nashville, bought some tickets last minute, and I bought them directly through TickPick. I think I paid no more than $2 and whatever number of cents for them. It was fantastic. It was great. Tickets came in right away, just as expected, and I had no problems whatsoever. If you're interested in actually buying tickets through TickPick, go ahead, click down below. I have a link there. We can go ahead, check it out, take a look, see if anything catches your eye. So when you go ahead and take a look, the price you see is the price you're going to pay. So just remember that when comparing it to other resale websites. Have you guys used TickPick in the past? Have you had good experiences, bad experiences, no experiences? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you want to stay tuned to other Is It Legit videos, go ahead, click over here, jump into the playlist where you can see all the other ones as they come up. And if you're also interested in actually subscribing and making sure you never miss out on another video, go ahead, click over here. This subscribe button, it's going to keep you informed. You're, you're, you're going to feel fantastic. Anyway, that's all I got for you. So with that being said, I'm going to see you guys next time.